A man who police say shot an officer before barricading himself in an Orlando apartment killed the four children he had been holding hostage before killing himself. Hottest Brown reports. The very nightmare Orlando police were trying to prevent played out at the Westbrook Apartments. Four child hostages, all under 12 years old, died at the hands of the man who led police in a 21-hour standoff, 35-year-old Gary Lindsay Jr. Our hearts go out to the families of those four children. The standoff started just before midnight on Sunday. About 21 hours later, around 9 p.m. Monday, police lost contact with Lindsay, who they say had been communicating on and off with them throughout. As they tried to get Lindsay a new phone to keep that line of communication open, the first sign of tragedy. Uh, we noticed one of the child, uh, one of the children were obviously deceased, uh, and that's when we decided to um, start our, our plans to, to make entry. But it was too late. All four were gone, two of them Lindsay's own children. Today, we're also learning new details about the officer who took a bullet at the start of the standoff. Officer Kevin Valencia had only been with Orlando police two years and was with Doral PD before. Wesh, too, found out he was injured on the job once before, punched and tackled while breaking up a fight at Universal Studios. We have seen investigators going in and out of the complex all day so far, including the medical examiner, as they continue their search for answers for this grieving community. That was Hottest Brown reporting. It's a devastating story there.